Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Savannah with Precious Daughters and today's video is kind of exciting. I am going to show you what we got the girls for Christmas this year. So a little bit of the backstory. We have a four year old and a two year old and Christmas can get a little out of control for us. Um, the first year wasn't too bad when it was just Elizabeth, but now that it's Elizabeth and Charlotte, we have so many aunts and uncles and cousins that really just are very generous with our girls and just love to spoil them and give them lots of things. So if you add that on top of like a parent buying every little thing they want for their kids, then, um, it gets really out of hand. Last year, I swear it was like 45 minutes of opening gifts of just them. So we try to maintain it to four gifts, four gifts a kid. And you've probably heard this before, but it's something you want, something you need, something you'll wear, and something you'll read. Now, something for the wear is I got both the girls flannel pajamas from Target and their little nightgowns. Oh my God, I will show you them. They're the cutest things in the entire world. I love them so much. Um, so they have the nightgowns for something they're going to wear, and then I figured we can jump into something that we'll read. So for Elizabeth, she got this Numbers 1, 2, 3 book, and it's like a, um, it's an activity book where you can trace and follow and count. When we worked, when we had her parent-teacher conference this year, her, um, teacher did recommend that we work on numbers with her. She's pretty good on alphabet. Um, but she kind of, she skips seven when she counts and then she just kind of like skips to 10. So we're going to do this with her a little bit more to get her working on her numbers. For her birthday, she did actually get a, um, an activity book that has like all of her letters in it and a lot of, a lot more detailed in that one. So I think between the two and then her name, we're just going to have her work for a little bit every night at the table while I'm making dinner and then she'll be all set for that. And then for Charlotte, right now we're working on colors. So she got a colored book and this one's actually really cute. It has a ton in here and each of them kind of look like this. They're really cute. So I'm really excited about that one because Charlotte's starting to get more clear with her words now that she's had her surgery and we're moving on into, um, into words with that. So that's something they'll read. Something they'll want. Let's move on here. Elizabeth is really, really into art right now. Um, she loves coloring and drawing and singing and dancing. So I figured the more we can get her involved with art, the better. So I actually got her these really cute little um, paintable magnetic butterflies. So you can paint them and add glitter and glue and little sequences. And then we can um, attach magnets to them and they go to the fridge. So there's four in there. I thought that was a really cute little thing. It's from Melissa and Doug. It's a Melissa and Doug brand. And I got that off Amazon. I got everything off Amazon because I'm gonna tell you what guys, I hate going into a store during the holiday season more than anything in the world. I generally have no help. I generally have both my kids and it's a nightmare. So Amazon Prime is my BFF and forever. I've got everything you're gonna see here I got off Amazon Prime. So, and then we also got her so for Elizabeth's last want gift, we got her this um, palace, sorry, cat tail. We got her like this little reusable sticker book thing. It's also again, Melissa and Doug, and it has over 200 stickers and they're like the peel and stick um, vinyl stickers. So there's like little palace scene, there's a ballroom and the woods and all kinds of stuff like that. So that'd be really cute for her, really imaginative play right now. She's really big into that. So I'm really excited about that guys my cat walked through and hit my clicker button so the last scene I just filmed did not film because he's a he's a cat okay so uh for need it's kind of hard for the girls because they're a little bit older they're not or they're a little bit young right now they're not getting into a whole bunch of um really needs like they don't really need for anything but I thought it'd be nice to get them more um little people little so they have these little people um princesses that go together with the little princess castle and they have the princess castle they got the princess castle last year that was their um birthday that was their christmas gift for each other so i just went ahead and i got more little people so this one's for elizabeth it's the it's the princess jasmine and aladdin set and then for charlotte she has the rapunzel with um the little horse and little Pascal. It's really cute. I like that. So that's kind of like their want and their, that covers Elizabeth's wants and needs. So moving on, um, we also got 
No, more for Charlotte, since she's still really little. She's not really showing much um, in her personality of, like, she's not really into, like, certain things just yet. She's kind of just a lover of all things. But one thing she really does love is babies. So we got her a baby alive. Um, these little snuggle babies. They suck their own thumb. They come with a bot. They come with, comes with a bottle. It's really cute. Now, funny story, I went to go buy the Baby Alive, um, and it was like $22 for the white one, but the black one with the darker skin was like $14. So I was like, that's horribly racist, but I'm going to buy the cheaper one of the two. So she has a, a, a black baby doll. But, you know, that's just, we are accepting in this family of all races, so it'll be a good a good instrument for her to see that there are other skin types than just white. Because when you live in Utah, usually the only skin type you see is white. <laughs> so she'll be able to see there's other skin types in the world besides just white. And then for more of imaginary to play with Charlotte, um, we got her this little grow set. So it's like there's vegetables in here and there's flowers and plants and you can pretend water them and you can put them in different pots and they can grow. This is going to be really good for her um, developmental play and also imaginative play. It's recommended for ages two and above um, and now she's two so there you go. I think this is going to be really fun because I want to start planting again come spring. I want to do another garden. I usually do a garden but I usually end up killing it or the feral cats from the neighborhood just destroy it by peeing in it at all times so we'll see how that goes this year this gift was actually supposed to be for um, Charlotte for her birthday and then when I ordered it for her my husband points it out that her sister would absolutely love the exact same gift and if I let her open that on her birthday that when Elizabeth saw it and didn't see didn't get one for herself she was gonna lose her mind so I ended up ordering a second one and I didn't give it to her for her birthday I'm gonna end up I'm gonna give them both of it for Christmas. So this gift was supposed to be a birthday gift, but now it's a Christmas gift. So I had to order one for Elizabeth too. So I got one for Charlotte and one for Elizabeth and they're so cute. It's Totoro. Can you just, can you just die? So I think Elizabeth's going to get the bigger one and Charlotte's going to get the little smaller one, but it's from the Miyazaki, My, Na My Neighbor Totoro. This is the girls' absolute favorite movie. They watch it in the car. They watch it in the house. They, uh, they just call it Totoro, but I love it. Elizabeth can actually pronounce Japanese names better than um, English names because she's watched so much Miyazaki-san. She loves uh, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, My Neighbor Totoro, and then Ponyo. Ponyo we didn't get really too big into because I only watched it a few times, um, but it was on constant replay for a little while in our house. For stocking stuffers, so for stocking stuffers they're going to get one gift and some little treats. They're not going to get very much, but for one of their gifts I ended up giving them two of similar, but they're really cute. These are the Contigo small water bottles. This by far has been the best water bottle I have found for kids because when it's dropped on the floor it doesn't leak and the um, camelback water bottles that we had. We had a smaller one. I paid three times the price of what I paid for this one um, for a camelback water bottle and it leaked every time my kids would knock it over. So every time I put water in it there'd be like puddles of water all through the house. So this is going to be great for them. It has like a little uh, a straw system so the straw won't come off. These can like come apart and be washed. They're really great. They're dishwasher safe. My kids love them. Um, we have one right now because the other water bottle we had was a was a Camelback water bottle and I threw it away because I got so sick or I donated it. I got, I donated it because I got so sick of like constantly cleaning up water that got spilled from it. It was ridiculous. So I got both of these off Amazon for a two for one deal. Okay, so that's most of everything. Now Elizabeth has a birthday on December 9th. So she is very close to Christmas, which when you have kids that are so close to Christmas it kind of sucks because um, people either forget or they just spaz it or they're like oh well her Christmas her birthday gift is her Christmas gift or her Christmas gift is something like that so we got her a couple of things for um, her birthday and I'm gonna go through those now with you guys um so for her birthday this is just Elizabeth's birthday party 
So and this is just from us. Um, she's already had her birthday party that was on Saturday, and so she had all of her little friends there, and she got gifts from them. She got a ton of stuff from them. Uh, guys, I don't know how we're gonna fit anything in this house. It's just, it's ridiculous. So the first one I got her was this really cute little art set. It is a portable art set. It has over 150 pieces of crayons, markers, scissors, staplers, erasers, paints, pastels. She's really big into art, guys, like really huge into art. So I am um, I'm trying to encourage that by doing by giving her more art stuff. But she also got a ton of markers and pencils and um, all that stuff from her birthday. So she has a lot of stuff that too. And then we got her toddler headphones because she needs them she has a kindle and she is allowed to have the kindle for one hour a day during quiet time um and usually that's alone in her room but sometimes um if we're out at a restaurant or if we're in the car or somewhere she just needs she'll have her kindle on and i don't want to hear it i don't want to listen to those stupid cartoons oh my god they're so bad so headphones. I hope she uses them. My husband says that she doesn't like his headphones, but I think they're just too big for her ears. So hopefully these will um, be more friendly. And then if these work, I think when we get Charlotte um, her own iPad, which is probably gonna be coming up here soon, um, when we get Charlotte her own iPad, we'll get her a pair of headphones too. Because now that she's two, she can actually have screen time versus before then, like the doctors don't really recommend it. And then her last gift, um, she has quite the collection already of uh, princess dresses. She has an Elsa and an Anna and a Cinderella dress so far. And they're really cute and I like them a lot. So I ended up getting her this one to add to her collection. It's Belle. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And it's funny because it's uh, Belle from the most recent Beauty and the Beast. And I love Belle. She's like my favorite my favorite uh, Disney princess. So yeah, so that's everything guys. I hope you guys got a good idea of what are some appropriate and fun gifts for kids ages uh, four and two. So I'm really happy with everything I got and I will catch you guys next time. All right guys, so I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. I post every Wednesday and Friday mommy lifestyle vlogs. Um, also leave a comment below about some really cool gifts that you have ideas for your kids and what ages you're shopping for because I love to get ideas for next year. Okay guys, I'll catch you next time. Bye.